Hello everybody, welcome back to Collateral Damage today. We are actually, I'm going to put this in Collateral Damage rather than Collateral Mike, so let's just see how it goes. But today everybody, we are going to go and talk about exactly what a lot of people have also been talking about, which is the Purify AI tool that has now started cleaning up the problems of female photos. And we all know what it is, but... And the, and the reason why I really want to talk about this, I'm going to try and make it quick. I'm going to give you examples and t tell my point about it. The reason why we're going to talk about this is because we're going, it's, tr it shows what men really want. I'm sorry. It does. Yes. People do like tattoos sometimes, but mo but we're going to give examples and just show you like, Hey, what if you, what if you were actually, you know, decent you had some dignity in yourself and and people are going to get mad about that. But the way I'm going to say it is this. You have no dignity if you're doing this on the Internet. Now, to be fair, the, the one on the right side needs a little bit more clothing on. But compared to the tattoos, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is from John Carter Esquire or Martian. Wired Lord, Weird Lord. With the power of AI, we will clothe we will clothe the insta thoughts. We will purify them of their tattoos. We will liberate them of their piercings. We will lengthen their skirts. We will piggyback off the outrage around AI corn and commit unrelenting psychological warfare to our own ends. We will show them the lives they will never have. That part I really like. We will force them to gaze upon the image of true beauty reclaimed from their own corrupted visage. Uh, we will bring decency back into the world one seething roasty at a time. And he make or this person makes a really good point. Or whoever made this. It's a very good point because it's true. Girls, you if you look like an insta thought, we we will we will get with you, but we will never date you. I'm sorry. And <laughs> this one's a little gave me a second. This one's a little mean because that's a little uh we don't I do not I do not condone the, uh, I do not condone purifying of races. Uh, that is, I do not agree with that. But, uh, like this person, I'm sorry, but yes, please put some clothes on. I'm sorry, I do not want to see a woman naked. Because it leaves nothing to the imagination. Also because you're just not, you're not decent. Yeah, exactly. Keep your dignity. Like, put some clothes on, please. I don't, if you want to do that, put it on the hub. Like, this is just, like, see, this, you know what's funny? I would date the girl on the right. I would not date the girl on the left. And this is the point a lot of women do not want to understand. Women do not understand. Women do not understand the fact that the person on the left is someone we would hook up with. The person on the right is someone we would actually try to marry. And they don't understand that. They think men only want this. Yes, in private. People don't understand that. We want someone who is very sexual in private, not in public. That's disgusting. Like this. That's, that's a little too much. We're going to exit out of that. We're going to exit out of that one. That is what we call too much. Um, it's on the right over here. You might not be able to see it, but that, that is a lot of skin showing. And all I'm going to say is that People just don't want to believe that one, men have standards, and that two, we have standards that are very that are actually opposite of the general norms or of modern norms right now. And people don't want to agree with them. That is the problem. People don't want to say, hey, um, we are going to listen to your standards and maybe actually how we say work with them, like actually try and go towards them. No, people are just people are just, oh, I can put as many tattoos on me, as many piercings, whatnot. And you have to like me. No, that is not how that works. Men right now are very much saying, you can do whatever you want. I think a lot of men should live like this. Just tell the women, you can do whatever you want. I will not stop you. But I will also not marry you. Just make it a very simple, like, hey, I won't marry you if you're like this person on the left. It's, it's simple. It's very simple. And you can say, hey, that's, that's a... What we say, exclusionary or whatever you want to say, that's mean or whatnot. I'm like, yeah, but that's my standard. My standard is the person on the right, not on the left. That is just horrible life decisions, personally. And 
people can say whatever they want. It is people can say whatever they want. Yeah, what was it? I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen this one, but I think I get the point of a yeah, I think I get the point of it. Uh, this one is also funny, you know, a bunch of thoughts on the left. Exactly. Just put them. It's really starting to get annoying where it's just like, oh, you're all thought you're you're, you're sexualizing yourself and we are. Well, reversing that we're making you humans and not sexualizing yourself, but apparently that's wrong. Apparently it is wrong for us to protect other people from their own stupid decisions. And you know what? If you think if you think it is wrong for us to say, hey, have some dignity, then I, I'm more than happy to be wrong. I am more than happy. And. And when it comes down to it and when it comes down to it, guys, it does. The reason why I really enjoyed this, especially for the uh, AI part of it, is because. It truly does speak to what men actually want and the reality that women don't want to do that. But the thing is, women are going to realize that they will not have boyfriends. They will not have husbands. They are going to die alone if they do not conform to what we want. And the reason why they have to is because men do hold the key to marriage and relationships. If a man says, I'll never get married and you try and force it, he will leave. Or he will probably leave. That's honestly just what it is. And it's not necessarily the best idea, but it's the fact of women have their standards. Women have very high standards. Very high. You know, the, all the sixes we talk about. It. But the moment a man says, hey, we have our standards, women go, oh, no, we can't do that. Why? Why not? We have you have standards. I have standards. You if you don't want to conform to those standards, you don't have to. But I won't date you. I won't marry you. I'll, I'll sleep with you. And that's it. And women are getting mad about it because we're actually showing you what we want. But we're also showing you what you can never achieve because you've already messed up your life or the messed up your physical body to the point of you'll never get to this point now. And no one. And that, that's the that's the greatest thing about this, guys. They are hearing the 1000 percent honest fact that no one ever wants to think about no one actually ever wants to think about oh this i i have wasted my life no one ever wants to think about oh crap i'm screwed i've done i've i've messed up i've gone so far down this road that i'll never come back from college for me i'm sorry but there's a chance i will never use my degree it's just it, there's a high chance of it it is what it is and the war and, and it's just it's a regret it's one of those things but same thing with these women same thing with these women oh you have tattoos piercings um bbls plastic surgery and all this crap will will not get with you you have wasted your life you have wasted the natural potential you had and you will no longer be considered sexy or you'll never be considered wife material and women think oh they'll change no we won't we will not change but it's just funny to see women have their standards, but the moment we show them our standards, they get mad about it. It's, it's hypocrisy. It is, but it is what it is. I hope you all enjoy. I will see you on the next one. All right. Peace out.